just looks like an ordinary village, right? That's because it is an ordinary village. But, the one thing that's not ordinary about it is the fact that this is the 1 or the 12W36A snapshot. What they added was, um, there is a lot of stuff in the snapshot, and I can't touch up on all of it unless you guys want to watch like a 20 minute video of it, which you probably do, so I'm going to do it. But, yeah, um, what you've got here is you've got your cobblestone walls. I'm pretty sure you make them exactly like you make a fence with cobblestone like that here. And that's just stairs upside down like a boss. And you also have the mossy cobblestone walls. Ah, oh, it's becoming nighttime. Nice. And you now have flower pots, which you can put flowers in. The flowers. You can now make the, the demonic altars by having the heads of all the monsters, except for spiders. You can put in cactuses, roses, brown mushrooms red mushrooms and yellow mushrooms in the flower pots I love roses <laughs> and you've got the creeper head the zombie head the Steve head which is just called the head Let's see head no reason to have those in my inventory then the wither head I'll touch up on that in just a couple seconds and then the skeleton head now I'm actually going to um, now, what I'm going to do is I need to have a diamond sword. Yeah. So, you need a diamond sword for this. Be well, you don't need it, but it's recommended. And, where is it? Oh, God, now I can't find it. Labyrinth. Okay, I cannot seem to find it, sorry. But yeah, they've got a wither. And what it is, it's basically three-headed, and it's horrible. It's It's got um, two heads on the side that look like this, and then one giant one that looks exactly like this, except bigger, on the, in the middle. And it shoots out basically the heads, and it just blows up everything. It just attacks every single mob. Now, something else you may have noticed are the frames here. You can put items in there and just right click to rotate them. And this is maps. These are maps that you can now put on walls. And to show you how that's done, it's rather easy. All you have to do is just go into this. I don't know how to make this, but an empty map, right click. And it completely fills it up. Just gotta wait. Wait, 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 wait. And boom. And then, you just right click on that. Since there's already one in there, it just rotates it. But you just, all you have to do is just right click in it. And it will place it in there. And it's like actually spawning. Or wow. It's like actually putting that in there. And now... They've added a beacon for the work in progress, or they've added a name for the work in progress thing. Now, I've never, I haven't actually done this, but I know that it gives off like about, about as much of, about as much light as it as a piece of glowstone, and when you right click on it, it's just like that, same stuff, same old, same old. Put one of those in there, and it gives you power. You have to build a tower of, like, iron blocks, gold blocks, diamond blocks, or emerald blocks. I think it's only diamond blocks or emerald blocks, I don't remember. But with a tower um, too high, like the base and then one more, which is the beacon itself, you get speed and haste, which makes you walk faster and mine faster. With three layers, base layer, middle layer, and then beacon, it gives you resistance and jump boost. I know that the jump boost just makes you jump really high. And then with four layers, with the base, the bottom middle, the middle, the top middle, and then the beacon, it gives you strength, which makes, gives you more damage. And then with 
the um, whole, like the entire five layers, which is base, bottom, middle, middle, upper, middle, and beacon, you get regeneration and whatever you and whatever you decide to choose from this side. But in order to do that, you must give it an offering of an emerald, a diamond, a gold, or an or a iron. Um, let me actually show you. I don't. I've. I haven't actually done this. Like I've done it, but only just by myself. I don't know. Hang on. Okay. See, so it, the light shoots up, and then you get speed and or haste, and then it's. But yeah. All you have to do is just simply keep building it up. I'm not going to waste my time with that. If you guys really want to, you guys can go ahead and check it out. Check out the link in the description for the snapshot download. Let me kill the skeleton. Or just punch him and aggro him against me. And then have him walk away. I think that's a new feature too, is where if you attack them... Oh yeah! Awesome! So if you ex... Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, so if you attack a mob in creative mode and then walk away, it the aggros. That's good. But let's see what else I've got. Let's see, so I showed you the item frame, the walls, the flower pot. Oh yeah. Um they also added the end portal frame to the um to the creative inventory. And they've changed the way buttons work. I I'm in love with this update. So yeah. It looks like a wooden button, right? That's because it is a wooden button. Now, why would you need a wooden button to do that with? It now reacts like the wooden pressure plates, which is really nice. I've been waiting for this. It would it, that gives so many or so many possibilities for custom maps now. And now I don't know what this does, but it's like a carrot on a stick. I still have the minecart with furnace. It's like a minecart with a or with a, a carrot on a stick, carrot on a freaking stick. Okay, and they actually completely took out the um, stone button and just made it towards only the wooden button. I kind of question that. I kind of like having the other button. Now the another item is the Nether Star. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. All I know is it's cool because it glistens. And so then we've got the splash potion of night vision. And then, let me find it. S the Splash Potion of Invisibility. I actually had to wait for the invisibility to wear off because I already did this. This is cool. So let me show you the night vision first. Perfect timing because it is night. Just show. And it makes it awesome. Now I'm, I'm actually going to jump down here and walk inside the building. Because the last time I tried to load in chunks with this, it crashed my game. But it kind of gives like a bluish hue to everything. Because if you look, it's kind of like got a bluish on there. And now the next is the invisibility. So, you see my hand? Well, actually, no, let me do this. See, you completely disappear. The only problem is that you can still see the particles from the stuff. So it's not entirely useful. You aren't. So basically, you are not completely invisible. But for people who don't pay attention, you are incredibly invisible. So, yeah, I think I touched up on everything. Um, I'm at... Oh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. There's still one thing left. Ha, <laughs> you can't even see the character. That sucks. Okay, I didn't realize it did that. But, yeah. For one, the leather armor has been given a slightly darker color. And if you see it, they've added... Actually, on the texture right in the middle, they've added um, button-looking type things. And something that's new that you can do with this is, let me go ahead and go to my materials, grab lapis lazuli, oh wow, lapis lazuli, orange dye, and let's say cyan dye. Now, let me just throw these in there, and also, um, let's grab magenta dye, just because, because real men wear pink, hey, pink dye, pink, not magenta, pink. Oh, and the magentas, they've got purple and magenta. They made um, magenta just slightly um, brighter. But something you can do now with leather armor. Let me put this in a sensible place. 
That doesn't look weird at all. Okay, but if you put that in there, you put that in there, you can change the color of the stuff. So like that, like that, and then like that. Now, if you want like red versus blue or something like that, this would be perfect for that. Because you can have like a red team with the red armor, blue team with the blue armor. I'm still in, I'm still flipping invisible. <laughs> okay, let's just take a look at this. I'm the invisible man. I will eat you. <laughs> okay, that's a bit odd. <laughs> it's actually kind of creepy. But yeah, um, and if you do, if you're like, what? You can't do red and blue. What? That doesn't make no sense. Well then, shut up and think about it for a bit. Because if you think about it, they have full leather armor. Let's do the red. Let's do the red first. For full leather armor, you would just have the red. You just have the. It's raining. That's gonna add to my lag. Thank God I've only got invisible or invisibility. But yeah, if you look, I take off this. It makes me have completely red armor. That means that there are so many possibilities for like teams. Now by shift clicking, it also destroys the items. So if you have an item that you worked on a lot trying to think about how to get it, this is not a good idea for you. Two, three, four. <laughs> and then shift clicking with armor and stuff doesn't shift click it to your inventory sadly. But, and then, in the, on this point, you can do the blue armor, so that you can have a blue team. Red versus blue armor style. Now, the only problem is, is that when you put it in your inventory and you look at it, it looks like iron. That's one problem that I have noticed just, like, a couple seconds ago. But other than that, this is really great. I really love this snapshot. This snapshot is extremely good. Um, I'm pretty sure I touched up on everything. So, like, rate, and favorite. Subscribe to become enough for my today. If I for if I remember anything that I forgot, if I forgot something, I remember. <gasps> I just I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> it also added new foods. I added a golden carrot, carrot, potato, baked potato, poisonous potato. Which I'm guessing that you take the potato, mix it with rotten flesh, and you get that potato. Let's see. Let's see if that's what I get. Potato. Nope. Well, anyway, like I was saying before, like, rate, and favorite. Subscribe to, to become a Nefermite today. Hope you all enjoy. Blue Team Rocks. Goodbye.